you guys welcome back to my channel it's Emily here and today I'm back with another video and today's video is gonna be a makeup routine video I've been on one of those for a while like for you guys and you guys have been asking me like oh what's your new makeup routine what's your new makeup routine nothing is really new I would say there's like a couple things that I did add but like it's nothing like too like you know big difference but yeah guys so I'm gonna be doing my makeup routine for you guys yeah so let me grab my makeup guys the first thing that I usually do is my little skincare routine, as you guys know. And I ran out of a cotton swab, so I haven't used my glycolic, my glycolic acid. So I've really just been using my niacinamide acid. And I just, like, put it there. A couple little drops, that's it. And then I rub it in. Okay guys, so then after I put after I do my little skincare thing, the next thing that I usually put on is my e.l.f. grip primer. And I use the uh, power grip primer, the niacinamide one. It's the pink one. And it's, people have been telling me that they heard bad things about it. But I've been using this primer for years. And so far, it has not done me wrong. So, I don't know, like, I don't know guys, I don't know. And if I was to switch primers, I'm not sure what primer I would switch to because I've never tried any other one. So please let me know in the comments below if you guys use like, if you guys know like a better primer to use, so I could start using a different primer and try that out. But yeah, that one has done no wrong for me. So I don't know. But yeah, guys, I just usually like rub it in to my face like that. And don't mind my eyelashes. I took them all off last night. For some reason, I have a habit of taking my eyelashes off when I'm sleeping, and then I always regret it in the morning because I don't know. I don't know why I do that. But, like, it's just, like, a habit that I usually, like, I literally do all the time. Okay, so the next thing that I do is, first I'm going to let my, like, skin, like, set for a little bit, the primer. So, it stays. And then I grab my Fit Me Matte Poreless um, Foundation in shade 118 and light beige. Yeah, 118. But, yeah, guys, I grabbed this one. And I put it on this on this brush that I found, and I don't know. I've barely. I really. I just started using this brush for like my foundation, and actually it has been working really good. And I don't even think this is a foundation brush, but like it still works really good. So it doesn't even matter to be honest. I'm running out of foundation, guys. Like really bad. So then I just grab the foundation and I like blend it in my skin. I try to cover up every spot that usually doesn't cover up with my beauty blender. So like my nose creases right there on the other side too. Okay, guys, after I brush that in, you don't have to, like, brush it in all the way. You just have to brush it enough to where it's, like, all spread out. And, like, rough spots are, like, covered. So, once you, like, brush it in to where it's, like, you know, brushed out, like I said. I usually grab my be I usually grab my beauty blender and then I blend everything in after that. And I just feel like brushing it out, it just leaves such a smoother base. Like, I don't know how to explain it to you guys. After I blend everything out, um, my base is like so, 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 so smooth. Okay guys, so yeah, I blended that out pretty good. And then after I blend my foundation out, I um I put my concealer on and I started wearing concealer, guys. And I remember like before, like I told you guys, like I don't know how to wear concealer. I kind of got the hang of it, I guess. I put it under my eyes. And then I like put some right here on the middle, and then right there, and right there. And right there. That's how I put my concealer on, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna blend it in. And I usually just grab another beauty blender that I use specifically for my concealer. And then I just blend under my eyes. And I blend like up. 
and then I go like into my nose and I blend down like that. Okay guys, so then I do that for this side now. I blend this in. I blend it in and then I go down. Okay guys, so that is all blend out now. And then I usually grab my um, Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder. I think it's powder foundation, right? I usually grab that. And then I just like go over my face a little bit. Like in spots where like I put my concealer. Like I just go over the same spots. And I feel like this makes my base like literally so smooth, guys. Like this is what makes everything so smooth. So... I definitely recommend getting this. I have shade 120. And yeah. Guys, I realized that I forgot to put my headband on. That was literally what I was missing. And I usually always put my headband on. I think it's just because this time um my hair is up. And I usually don't put my hair up. But today I put my hair up because they had the bald. Today I put my hair up because when I got out the shower, it was like outrageousness. So now it's in a headband okay so this is what my base looks like right now and then i'm gonna grab some of my ola benefit bronzer mini so i'm gonna grab some of that and i usually don't like a lot of bronzer like i tap it i tap it and then i like brush it a little off and then i like put it where my cheekbones are and i just tap guys i tap because when i go like that i feel like it like blends my makeup up so I like to just like tap and yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna do that to the next side. I'm gonna grab some, brush it off, then tap. And then I grab like the corner of it and I tap also. And then I like do the top of like my head. So like it like shows a little color up there. Like that. And then I just add a little to my nose. Because even though I put blush on, I still like the little like tint of color that it gives my nose. So then I added some bronzer to my nose. And this is what my sides look like. So then I'm going to get my Fit Me um setting powder. I'm going to get my Fit Me setting powder and it's in 05 in shade Fair Clear. Yeah, it's 05. Or it's, yeah, it's literally 05. But um yeah, guys, I get some of that. I'm literally running out of my makeup, guys. I have to go restocking in my makeup. But, but yeah. So, I got some of that. And then I prefer this because what did I used to use? Did I used to use a beauty blender? Or did I used to use a brush? I don't remember, but I used to use something else. But I prefer these little like triangle thingies. So I could literally just tap it in there and then put it on my face. You guys could get these anywhere, Shein, Team, like literally anywhere. But I go like on the sides of my nose so it like shapes my nose. And then I go like that. Okay guys, so I'm just having the setting powder sit right now, and um, I'm going to let it sit for a bit. While we're letting it sit, we should do my lips, so let me grab okay. What I use for my lip combo is I use the Maybelline New York Superstay Ink Crayon in shade 100 Reach High. So this is what I use, guys. Remember that? Okay. Maybelline Super Crayon. 
wait, wait. Superstay, Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon Shade 100 Scott or er, Reach High, guys. Okay, that's what I use. And then I'm just gonna go over my lips with it. Really, I also use this one too, but I'm kind of going for like not like such a bold look today. I usually also use the NYX Professional Makeup Lip Pencil Crayon Ex Shade Espresso. I usually use this one. In the shade espresso but it gives such a bold look and i'm not going for a bold look today like i'm kind of going for like a natural light look okay guys that's how the lips turned out i'm just gonna add a little bit color to them so what i usually do is i usually add my butter glass, my NYX butter gloss, and it's in shade cinnamon roll. And I'm just gonna like go over it like this. And then I use my NYX butter gloss shade red velvet, and then I just like go over it like a little because it's very pigmented. That's how the lips turn now. And then I don't like when my lips are so glossy. So I kind of just like. So yeah guys. That's how the lips turned out. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my. What is it called? Setting powder off. And by that I'm just going to like you know. Rub a little bit. So yeah I kind of took that off. And then now I'm going to add my blush. And then with my blush. I use the same brush that I use for my bronzer. And then. My blush is the Fit Me Blush, um, shade 30, and I use a lot of Fit Me stuff, guys, but, um, yeah, that's what I use, it's almost gone, I have to go get a new blush, guys, but, yeah, and then I just put it on my nose, me, personally, I like a lot of blush, I feel like blush, like, makes your makeup pop. Okay, guys, honestly, I think I might have added a little bit too much blush. Like, I got a little ahead of myself. So, I'm going to go over it with my setting powder sponge just to, like, make the color, like, calm down a little bit. And then, it will calm down, like, later. Because blush is the first thing that comes off in your makeup routine. That's why I add so much because it's the first thing that comes off and, like, I need my blush, you know? But, um, yeah, the next thing, the last thing. Oh, anyways, yeah. So, last but not least, my eyebrows. I have the Clear Brow and Lash Mascara from e.l.f., but I use both sides for my eyebrows because I don't use the Clear Mascara, so I also use a Clear, clear Mascara for my eyebrows also. And I just go and like form my eyebrows which way I want them to go and how I want them to stay. And yeah guys. That's my little makeup routine. And then now I'm just going to finish my look up so I can get it all together. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so I ended up leaving the house and forgot to record my makeup. But this is how the makeup turned out. My base is still going good. The only problem is I have a really oily skin. So I have a little oil on my nose. But yeah, this is how the base turned out. The base turned out. This is how the makeup turned out, guys. Yeah. So that's pretty much it for my makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to your post notification below. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out. Love you guys.